Okay, so a quick um, test of my GTX 1060 and the set of course of competition only. And it's full grid, 28 AI, plus myself, 29 cars. How well will it run? So far, 71 FPS. Actually better than expected. Especially while recording. Anyway, let's see how this race turns out. Hopefully it's a good one. There's a lot of cars in front of me, oh my god. First corner at Monza is going to be rough. There is a little delay in the camera recording, because it's shadow play and it tends to mess up a lot. Look, 74 FPS? Yeah, it's not bad. I got pretty high settings too. It doesn't look bad at all. God, look at these cars trying to get through here. Dear God. <laughs> We've lost some already. I right, we're away. It was nice and safe. I'm not going to rush it through there. No way. Just take my time with the AI. Yeah, game runs pretty well, considering it's only on a 1060. And it looks fantastic, too. Let's get a, a better view in here so we can see more what's going on. I don't normally race like this view, but for the sake of the video... I've got it in the evening too, so it looks all nice and sunny, and very nice indeed. Uh, also, I've tested this with ah, with the weather on, all stormy and so on, and the FPS stayed pretty much the same. But look how gorgeous that looks. Actually pretty, pretty real looking. Keeping 80 plus down here. 89, 80, 73. Yeah, it's not going to dip below 60 with uh, a full grid, no, no way. Pretty reasonable. I'll share my video settings afterwards. But, yeah, let's see how well we can do. I prefer racing in this view, actually, with a set of course, because, ah, uh, I don't know, the cockpit views seem a little bit restrictive on this game. Well, look how beautiful that looks. Hey, you buddy. What are you going to do? Well, let's go back to this one. Need to clear that car. Okay, we're good. And brake. we we'll do this in first gear. These cars are just going to trickle around here. They're not, uh, they're not the best. So, 10 minute race. We've got seven and a half minutes left. See how much we can gain. Oh, the AI, they're kind of strange. Very, very slow in some sectors, but very fast in others. Like the first corner of Monza, they are incredibly slow. They're not good at all. But then in other parts of it, they're rapid. I don't know, very inconsistent AI. There you go, get a nice view down here. Nice open track view. One thing I do notice about this game is the curbs is just like I said, of course, the one you can't trust your car when hitting the curbs. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful the car models are. But yeah, you got to be very careful on the curbs. That looks stunning. That sun. You should be able to see the FPS counter uh, top left of the screen at 90 currently, 91. Very impressed how it runs on my 1060. God, I don't trust these AI. They're barging now. They're really hidden into me. I think I gave them plenty of room. Oh, both cars got a penalty for that. Oh, well. I don't think it really means a lot at the moment. 
Lap times won't be amazing. The AI are slowing me down quite a lot. But with this BMW, I, I've done a, a 48 on here. I used a safe preset and then just knocked the rear wing down to zero. And it's enough to get uh, 48s. Maybe 47s. Like I say, though, AI are holding me up quite a lot. Right, halfway. I don't think we've gained that much, have we? Or have I? Let's break now, because he's going to break very early there. Just stay behind him as close as pass. Get that slipstream and try and overtake him for the last corner. Come on, buddy. I think he's going to hang with me here. Plenty of room. I love the new radar. The helicopter type radar. Really helps. There you go. And we're past. So break on the 150 pretty much. Gonna hit that first. Oh, I got a little barge from the AI, I think. I felt something hit me then. Because I was already half a second up. Just with a bit of clear room. But these guys in front will definitely slow me down as well. God, they're painfully slow, aren't they, through all this section? Look at him go. <laughs> He doesn't know what he's doing. Seven temps up. Like I say, it won't last. Not battling. You're going to lose a lot of time battling. That was awful as well. He put me off with his braking. Still seven temp up though. Eight temp. More slipstream. That's a second. He's going to break early, got to be very careful. Right, we're going to hit second gear. Kidding me. Right, going to floor it now. And hopefully we get a good runoff and catch, catch uh, his slipstream. I don't think we'll make it though. For the last corner. I'll try. But we'll get him on the first corner. It's going to be very tight. Going to have to give him plenty of room. I think I'm okay. Yep, and we're clear. Another place gained. Personal fastest lap of the race. Right, game break about the 150. He's at my side. I'm gonna have to be extremely careful. The AI have no um, care in the world for your, for the player. You've just got to give them plenty of room and hope for the best. But so far, I mean, they're pretty impressive. I haven't had uh, any incidents. There's damn sight better than a set of course of one's AI. That's for sure. But then Kunos only have one class to work on here, so they should be. Let's see if we can get this right. It's kind of hard to get it right in this car. There's a lot of understeer. With the safe preset. Again, that looks gorgeous. So we've got one lap left, I would think. Normally I'd do that in third gear. As I nearly lose it. But with the AI being slow there, I just take it easy. Okay, so he's on the final lap. So yeah, one lap left. I should gain some time.
I should be able to overtake this guy. They tend to break very early for the first corner. So 151.6 is not very good. But as I say, when you're racing, you lose a lot of time, so. See, AI, very inconsistent. Now he's breaking right time, but he's going to painfully go slow through here. Very painfully. I don't think I have enough time to get a respectable position here. Time is up. This is the, the last lap. I should be able to gain maybe two positions though. Uh, coming up to the final run. Maybe. It depends how they behave. I know they're going to be really slow at the next uh, chicane. Let's see if we can take him now. It's going to be close. Who's going to break? Who's going to break? That was risky, but I got him. I'm not sure if I can... Oh, it's all over the place. I'm scared of the curbs. I can't take this guy. So this is position. They just finished the race, so weren't that far behind, really. But yeah, definitely um, capable of running full grid with the GTX 1060. But I would say you do need a very good CPU. I, in this case, I'm using an i7 9700K, which is an eight-core Intel chip. So you can imagine it really does help. All of the cores get used, so. If you're running, say, a 4-core uh, i7 or 4-core i5, then I would say that you probably can't run the full grid and keep 60 FPS plus. I think you need a minimum 6-core CPU. But there's the end of the race. So, as promised, I will share my graphic settings. So let's just uh, quickly check how it runs in a replay. 60, 70 FPS, 59, 57. So even in replays, it's not bad. They go 68, 70. Pretty damn good. So let's quit replay. Go to my options, video settings. See here, 1920, 1080, full screen enabled, VSync disabled, 100% resolution scale, view distance is epic, shadows are high, anti aliasing is uh, epic and temporal. Effects and post processing, I leave them on mid. Sharpness, uh, 100. Foliage, always low. Uh, textures mid because honestly there's no difference between I've noticed in the textures if you have epic they look great but anything under that all looks the same so I just leave it in mid and it works and looks fantastic as you saw uh, frame limit 200 mirrors 100 meters uh, the mirror textures on mid but the important one is the mirror resolution keep it to mid if you're any higher and you're gonna lag like crazy in this game and then, yeah, all disabled, uh, sorry, enabled, and yeah, motion blur. Have enabled just because it looks kind of okay in this game. Advanced tab, saturations on 100, sharpener filters disabled, uh, materials quality is on epic. And then I disable these two, the temporal and uh, volumatic fog. That can really be a killer. Uh, bloom quality is epic. I like that. Foliage again low and dirt effects on four. And that's it. There's my video setting. So just there. Then you can copy them and there and that runs nicely but make sure you have a good cpu otherwise it's going to run like crap but anyway thanks for watching guys hope you appreciated the video and yeah hit the like button share button you know the score and i'll see you next time bye bye